Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this Friday, our last weekend of 2019. Good to see you, everyone. Good morning. Good to see you, Bonnie, Don, Grant. Good to see you all. Rich. All right, everyone. All Cyber Traders. Very good to have some fun going into the uh, closing out this, uh, almost closing out this year. So uh, anyway, a lot of people are traveling right now. Um, we had a, another great day yesterday. I'm actually shocked. You know, um, looking back last year, the Christmas crash, you know, when we had the, uh, you know, we had the market that really uh, took a huge dive because of obviously uh, for uh, not a big catastrophe, just that you could see that uh, when we had the government shutdown, what it could do. But over that, I mean, nothing's really driving this market. Remember what I kept on telling you for all those haters out there that think the market's going to crash. Okay. You know what? Just short the market. Because we just broke out, we just broke a new uh, a new high on the Nasdaq. We broke nine thousand. I'm so excited, and also uh, we're breaking all time highs again on the Dow. It's just a, it's just so much fun, and I'm just uh, I'm just happy for everyone out there that's doing great. Now, regarding about what we're doing here at Cyber Trade University and what we've been trading, listen. Yesterday was a fun day. We had some really good stocks that made some big moves. Still hasn't been as good. We haven't got another one. Uh, like the ITCI, uh, that was just like, my God, that was just unbelievable. ITCI, I mean, I know everyone uh, they, they had so much fun on Monday. I mean, where do you find stocks that go from 22 to about 50, oh, was a 45 in one day? That was just like off the charts. We just had a, you know, uh, we had a couple of them yesterday, but nothing like that. But there were a couple of good ones out there. And remember, I'll constantly repeat this again because I know a lot of us, you know, want to swing trade, want to do some options trading. And I keep telling everyone, you want, to de you want to do those things. You damn well better learn how to day trade first. Because yesterday, there was a couple of the stocks that we did trade, which is on the silent, uh, uh, became swing trades. And I want to start off with this, um, this QGEN that we traded. So this stock got crushed yesterday. Okay, another one. You know I'm a big fan of bottom fishing. So here's a stock that went from 42 down to 31, and look where it is now at 33. So this is another nice little mover uh, as a bottom fish. Let me just show you what happened right here. You can see it came right out of the gate um, right here from 30, went all the way to 35, and still you know, starting to go up, still going up a little bit. So not only was it a good day trade, but it came a good swing trade. Another good swing trade. I'm going to bring it up again. Goose. Oops, sorry, wrong, I spelled it wrong. There we go. Uh, this is another great little swing trade. We saw the stock go from 27 all the way down to 15. Look where she is now. Now, remember, I, I was talking about this in phase three. How do you trade swing trades? So if you're a student, you know, um, we did the live trading with Fausto. Just go over. I just want to point these things out. Uh, now, another one that's been, once again, not as that type of uh you know getting crushed bottom fish but jesus look at rite aid holy crap i'm still ticked off at myself that i sold it you know um you know what there's a lot of stocks i i wish i held and there's a lot more thank god i got out of it because i probably would be here today if i still had them but this thing is just like just won't stop look at the after hours on that thing it just traded right into the closed and took off you know last 30 minutes were from 18 to like 19 look where it is 22. so remember they did a big reverse stock split on the stock so when they did that reverse stock split they limited the share so it kind of makes it a lot more volatile and you know once again i'm not here to teach you guys you know what does that mean and how does that work and how does that affect the market the volatility we cover that in class but you know but when you're trying to figure out what happened here that thing's doing pretty damn awesome um another another couple of stocks that also we did well yesterday sspi it's going to bring that one that thing just got decimated you know i don't know if she's going to come back but you know what it's always going to go on my watch list the only thing i always concerns me is remember is like a stock like this a pharmaceutical stock they really don't come back okay other ones like remember we traded td ameritrade that thing got destroyed and all of a sudden got a buyout from schwab like you know a month later you know all those stocks are looking pretty good you know but just be careful of these pharmaceutical stocks they don't really come back and um nl nk is another one i just want to touch upon before we go and uh, that one had a pretty good gap up early in the morning. You can see it from a buck sixty went to about three sixty. So there we go. All right. So what's happening this morning? Well, listen. You're hearing that they said that this is one of the most successful um, holiday seasons of shopping. You know, and 
you know, another stock. You know, I'm going to be on NASDAQ in two weeks. I'll let you guys know when I'm on there. But they want me to talk about the retailers. Now, if you remember, I was talking about the retailers. I want to bring up Macy's really quick. Macy's got destroyed, okay? Now, listen, the way you trade is that the more they advertise and talk about TV, about certain things, about certain topics, like uh, Pelican, you hear about that one. They keep talking about that. I hear it on, on TV all day long. You know, when, when they talk about it, you know, that gives it free advertising. So just keep an eye on these stocks, you know, um, when they talk about it. But you can see at Pelican, we did great with it, but not doing too well now. All right. But Macy's, if you want to go back to that Macy's trade, retailers, you know, obviously did well. And uh, it was a great, great swing trade. It's not really a day trade, but it was a really good swing trade. If you got in right around the $15 price range when I, you know, when we talked about it, you know, uh, about uh, two weeks ago. All right. Now, let's talk about what's going on this morning. Listen, remember. Today is the last weekend of 2019. What does that mean? It means a lot because a lot of people are, are away on vacation. I told you kids are off from school for two weeks. You know, a lot of people usually go to vacation right after Christmas. They say it's the busiest travel day uh, of the year. They said it's almost, I think they said it's almost comparable, if not more than um, what happened on Thanksgiving. So a lot of people making a lot of money, okay? And what do you do when you make money, right? You spend it, okay? You want to do those vacations that you never did. Take your, your grandkids uh, on uh, fly them down and go go out and spend it. So that is just absolutely awesome. Now the question is, how do we capitalize on it? Just be careful going into this these last uh, couple of days. You know, once again, you know, this is like it happens every seven years where the market actually you know let, opens up. You know, on a uh, you know got Christmas and you got uh, New Year's Eve on a, on Christmas on a, on a Wednesday. So it's like right smack in the middle. So let's be a little careful on what we're trading. Uh, as of right now, so don't get too cocky. If you're in the right position, in the right place, that's great. Just don't be too crazy, all right? Let's talk about the big winner this morning right now. So far, we looked at PT. So PT, I put that in the chat room. Um, you know, listen, I tell you all the time. I, I logged in right before 8 o'clock. I was there at 7.45. I always start the room at 7.45. Put the watch list. If you jumped in this trade, you know, when, when I heard, called it out right here, you can see it's seven, at 8 o'clock this morning, buck 60, 280, you're probably done for the day. Okay, up 96%, 4.8 million shares. Like I said, you're probably finished. All right, but if you're not, that's okay too because we'll come back and we'll, uh, you know, there's always new ones that do pop up at, at from nowhere. F cell. All right, so F cell came out of nowhere just early, just now. You can see F cell just literally just popped right here from a buck ten, went to a buck forty. She's backing up a little bit right now, but um, just be careful of the, you know. Uh, F cell because like I said it kind of backed off a little. I don't know what caused the stock to make a huge run up, but this stock we've traded in the past. We made some good money with it, uh, but it does get pretty damn volatile. Now uh, we got Rite Aid on there. MDR very very slow stock. Okay, MDR. This is like a really beginner stock, but you know what? This stock got destroyed, and she's like you know she's starting to become more of a swing trade. So this is a, a, it trades a lot of shares. I mean, look at it. I mean, we got 129,000 pre market, and look look at those orders on 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 the level three over there. 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 15,000, 19,000. So it takes a lot of shares. So you know, there's one thing about this stock. This is more of a scalping stock for some day traders. They'll trade 10,000 lots, and they'll make a penny, two pennies, and you know, they'll make their. And when you think about that. Well, why would they do that, right? Well, if you buy 10,000 shares and you make five cents on it, you know, that there's your 500 bucks, you know? So, you know, it's a little bit more of a scalper type of stock, but it's, you know, but it's also been like a little bit of a swing trade. I'm not really a big fan of it, but you know what? If you haven't been trading anything, you got to do something. Uh, SPPI getting, you know, like once again, that one got crushed yesterday. I want to keep it on the watch list and, and focus on it. So that's about it. Listen, there's not a big list and that's okay. You know, it's Friday. You know, we're going into, you know, uh, the new year. A lot of people are on vacation. We did great. We did we did phenomenal this week. I mean, we literally did phenomenal. I'm telling you, I was really done after the, the TCI this week. I mean, I really, well, I was pretty much done after that. Um, but other than that, listen, don't worry about the past. Let's worry about the, about the future, and there'll be plenty more out there. So, anyway, anything I'm missing, I did not call out. Options, uh, Neil says options, uh, Amazon options expired today, went from 5 to 60 yesterday. Holy crap. Wow. What do you think, huh? <laughs> well, listen, did you see that big move it made? So anyway, but the thing is this, 
once again, Neil, and this goes for everyone, everyone wants to trade options. I keep telling everybody, you want to be a good options trader, you damn well better learn how to day trade first because then you'll know, okay, well, maybe I, there is a good option out there. Then you can do it. But um, but you got to be careful that, Neil. Listen, if you can't afford those big swings, you can blow up your account. You got to be careful. You know, people went actually went out there and tried to short that thing. Uh, NLKD, just Josh telling you, NLNK, dropping fast, shortable, worth watching at three. All right. All right. So, uh, yeah, that, that will not also. Easy come, easy go. You know what I mean? Remember, short squeeze have been great for us. All right. So, uh, we got all those stocks that we're watching. We're doing pretty decent. And in the meantime, everybody, listen, if I don't see you um, this afternoon, that's okay. That's good. This is what we train for. You're only supposed to work an hour a day. You know, and we usually try to quit after that time. And then, uh, you know, and we'll, if you're here to the afternoon, listen, the only good thing about being here and, and trading at this time, I know a lot of people are out. The only really good thing about today, you know, trading, this, you know, the shakes are not as bad as when, the, when, the, when, the, you know, when we're at the most volatile time in the market because a lot of those uh, advanced traders are pretty much on vacation. They put their assistants in. How do I know that? Because I was one of them. So, so that's what you got to look forward to. So don't worry. Listen, if it's out there, just hit them hard, make your money, and run. All right, guys? Listen, good luck today. Happy trading. If I don't see you this afternoon, enjoy your weekend and see you back here on Monday. All right, everybody? Good luck, everybody.